Hi parents, thank you for checking out this tutorial. I'm Elaine from Great Solutions Jimmy Math. In this video, I will be showing you how to draw stacking models for P4 Math using two questions from past year SA2 papers. The first question is taken from Maristella and it is worth two marks. Sue bought a bag and five shirts. The bag cost three times as much as a shirt. She paid $240 in total. How much did the bag cost? The key concept of this question is that the cost of one bag is three times the cost of one shirt. So when we are drawing the model, okay, we compare one bag to one shirt first. And the bag would have three units, while the shirt would have one unit. So let's just compare one to one. Alright, so for one bag, there should be three units. And for one shirt, one unit. So since Sue bought five shirts, we should have five of such units. So let's stack it below. And now we have five units representing five shirts. The total cost is $240. Dollars and the question is how much did the bag cost? So our question mark should be here Now once we have this model drawn it is fairly easy to solve as there are equal units throughout eight equal boxes Okay, eight equal units represents $240. So let's go ahead and write that down And of course our next step is to find one unit, 240 divided by 8, that would give us $30. The question asks for the cost of one bag, and one bag has three units. So we go ahead and multiply this by three, and we would get $90. So there we have it, the answer to this question. The next question is taken from ACS, and it is worth four marks. Gregory has six boxes and three bags of soccer balls. He has a total of 261 soccer balls. Each bag contains 18 more soccer balls than each box. How many soccer balls are there in the bag? Now you may have already realized that this question is a level up from the previous one. In the previous question, we have equal units. The bag is three units while um, the shirt is one unit, right? But for this question, you'll realize that not all the units are equal and there are some excesses that we have to deal with. Now, the key concept is that in one bag, there are 18 more balls than one box. So let's just compare the number of soccer balls in one bag and in one box first. So in one bag, there are 18 more soccer balls, so we should be drawing 1 unit plus 18. So let's go ahead and draw 1 unit, and we cut out a part for the 18 more balls. As for um, 1 box, it is simply 1 unit like this. Alright, now we go ahead and fill up the rest of the bags and the rest of the balls. Now since there are three bags, we would just stack upwards. And of course, these bags would also have 18 more. And for the boxes, we would stack downwards and make sure we have six boxes. All right. So once this is done, uh, we can fill in the other information. There are 261 balls all together. So now let's take a look at this model. We have equal units here without the extra 18s, right? So in order to just have equal units, let's remove the extra 18s from this equation. So let's go ahead and work that out. So 3 times 18 gives us 54. So we should subtract 54 from the total such that we have 
equal units. So we should subtract 54 from the total such that we have equal units. Alright, so let's count how many units there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Therefore, we know that 9 equal units is 261 minus 54. And that would give us 207. And of course, we'll go ahead and solve one unit. So 207 divided by 9, that gives us 23. Now the question is asking how many soccer balls are there in the bag? So the question mark should be over here. Alright, we know that in one bag there are 1 unit plus 18 soccer balls. So let's go ahead and add 18 to 1 unit. And there we have it, 41. And that's the answer to this question. I hope this series of P4 model drawing tutorials has been helpful to you and enable you to see the difference between um, basic models, before and after models, and stacking models. If you have any questions for me or have any comments or suggestions as to what type of topics you'd like to see me cover in upcoming videos, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment box below and also subscribe to this channel for more free tutorials.